And I want to tell you a little bit about Governor Brewer, for those of you who don't know all the details about her life. And Governor, I'll be kind. I'll be great with this. <clears throat> Governor Brewer has dedicated nearly three decades of her life to public service, and that is astonishing for someone so young to have given so much public service, especially to the citizens of Arizona. But you know, with Governor Brewer, it has always been about the people, the people of Arizona and how she could serve them and make their lives better. I first had the great privilege of working with Governor Brewer during her service at the Arizona State Legislature, first in the House and later in the Senate. And I remember as we talked about issues from time to time, her focus was always on how she could improve opportunities for Arizona families and for Arizona businesses. Later, as a Maricopa County Supervisor, she moved the county from near bankruptcy when she began her service there to a nationally recognized fiscal health by the time she left at the end of her tenure as County Supervisor. And as Secretary of State, she improved voter registration systems and she developed legislation to allow Arizona's military and overseas residents an opportunity to vote and to vote online so their votes could be counted as well. And that, boy, isn't that important? You know, Governor, we've heard uh, of some of our military members overseas being disenfranchised, not being given an opportunity to vote, and it was so important that you took that legislation on and personally saw it through and made sure that that never happens to an Arizona member of the service. And as governor now, she is guiding our state through unprecedented challenges with her characteristic leadership. Her experience, her life have prepared her for this time and for this position of trust. The governor recognizes that not only must we resolve today's challenges, but we must prepare Arizona for the next 100 years, the next 100 years of economic health and prosperity for all of us here in Arizona. She knows that we must develop the policy framework to provide the right tax and regulatory structure, the quality and accessible education for all of our citizens, and infrastructure that will attract businesses to Arizona and provide them with a quality workforce here. Governor Brewer will bring together the very best minds in Arizona to work with her to develop these policies. But first, first foremost and always, Jan Brewer is a wife. She's a mother. She is someone who understands Arizona parents and what you all want for your children and for your families. She understands this because she's been there raising her family here in Arizona. And you know, Jan was not born to a position of privilege. She has worked to raise her family and to serve Arizona at the same time. She wanted her sons to have the same opportunities available to them here in this wonderful state. And I have been blessed. My family has been here for four generations in Arizona. I'm also a wife, a mother, and a grandmother. And two of our children and three of our grandchildren live right here in Arizona. And as they grow up, I want to make sure that they have the same opportunities that I have been so blessed to have in this state. Jan Brewer is the governor that can provide them those opportunities. She is the right leader for Arizona's future. Now, it's <laughs> 